Hello everyone, welcome back to my craft space. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for joining me and checking out my channel. I greatly appreciate all of my subscribers. And recently I have been working on these graduation junk journals made from manila envelopes. And I'm at the section now where I am doing this piece here. This page I haven't finished yet in this book, but uh, I will get there. So the section I'm at now is this little tip-in piece, kind of like a signature. It is made from a file folder, and I'll get to that in just a second. Um, I did it a little different than the video that I was inspired from showed from Lo Lovely Lavender Wishes. Uh, she made hers with actual pages in there, like a signature. Mine has pages too, but they're not... Um, attached like a signature. I just used the file folder and you can do it either way. So what's cool about this is that it comes out so you can just untie this. There's no stitching. Um, you don't you don't glue it in. You don't stitch it in. Um, I had to glue this piece in of course and put the ribbon in there but that's all that holds it. So in reality the person who is using this journal could add in a different journal. They could add in extra pages. Um, they could leave this in there. They could take this out. They could set this piece on a shelf or whatever they want to do. Um, so for this graduation journal uh, the girl my niece that's getting it is having a prom this year. Um, so that was what I had in mind for her little tip in. I did not do any measuring with a ruler. So, um, so the best way to know the measuring is I put these eyelets in and then I just sat my file folder here and kind of eyeballed how big it needed to be, made my little marks on the file folder and moved on. I'll show you that in a little more detail in just a second. Um, the cool part about this is that you could feature it for any topic, you could leave it. I could have just left it graduation notes or future notes or dreams or goals or whatever. There's so many different things you could do. Um, the The journal that I saw was a nature inspired journal, so it was just field notes and, and that kind of thing. Um, so the way I have it designed, it's all based on a file folder base and you open it this way. Um, it's for prom, so it, a picture here of the prom dress picture here of getting ready or prom hair and then it opens like this opens like this and then a photo of senior prom here and then this is a little flip too so these would be really great uh, on their own if you weren't making a journal and you just wanted to send somebody a little flip card or something uh, they sit up nicely on their own they fit into books you this one here you just tie in like this um, in fact you could even just use an elastic here so you could just slip it in and out I don't think I'd have to tie it every time but I have this ribbon a little bit long um, not intentionally just I need to trim it down a little bit um, so it would slip in and out without that and it is pretty secure in there just by tying it in so um, so yeah there's that and you could decorate the back if you wanted to I kind of like just having the front so let's get into it and I'll show you what we've got going. So I'm making two of these, one for my niece, one for my daughter. They both go to different schools and they're both graduating seniors this year. Um, now the one for my niece, she's having a prom. My daughter's not having a prom at her school, so no prom fun there. However, she's very into FFA. She's an FFA officer this year, so I figured I would do ag life, like agricultural life for hers. So. The best way, uh, like I said, I, I don't I don't cut to measure, so I've got my file folder here. I forgot to mention to you guys, my desk is incredibly messy. Making these books has just kind of created chaos. Um, but I work well in chaos, so it's all good. So when you have your file folder, um, there's lots of different sizes of these. I honestly get them uh, from thrift stores and whatnot so um yeah you can see my mess look at my mess here it's crazy um I get them from thrift stores and just use leftover ones that we had from filing whatever so what I would do you want your spine on the left side if you're making it the way that I am um you could do it this way and then fold it in half but that just seems like more work since you've already got a fold here so put the spine on the left side and then I would just set it kind of just in front of the the eyelet there and then I use my nails a lot to mark. And you could, you could 
use a scoreboard or whatever you want to do. I just use my trimmer and would cut across right there. So with that, I've already done that to save a little time for the video here and I've got all the papers cut as well. Um, so it's going to, ooh, let's see. Well, having all the papers cut, I thought was going to save me some time. Let's see if it actually does. <laughs> okay. So some of the papers I'm using um, are from Echo Park. Some of them are from, uh, I forget this country stack. What is it called? Paper House. This one's a really old stack that I've had, but um, I really think it fits the theme well. So this is the size that my file folder uh, turns into. And then, um, you just crease it in fours. I, I divided it in four, so I folded this in and then made the rest of it match. So you can have three if you wanna divide it into three. You can have four. Um, I think you could probably even have two. I wanted it to close really nicely inside the book and not hang over, so I went with four. And um, let's see, let's just get some ink and get to gluing here. I'm using Versamagic ink today. This is a chalk ink and I absolutely love it. Um, this one's called Night Sky. You can use ink, whatever you have, or don't use ink, that's, that's an option too. I'll probably ink some more at the end just because I have all of these papers here. I love these little flip books. You could do them for any theme. Like I said, they'd make a great card. Uh, if you wanted to send somebody something that kind of flips out, um, you could put some pictures in there. Lots of little quotes or messages, little tags. You could do a lot of things with these little books. Um, and like I said, the video I did get my inspiration from, they put pages in, um, actual pages, so it does resemble more of a signature that's going inside the book. Okay. I've got my Aline's Clear Gel Tacky Glue. Feel free to use whatever glue you are most comfortable with. Okay. Oh, let's put some glue in the center. Now on this one, I'm probably gonna die cut some letters that say egg life, like agriculture life. She's um, a vet assistant and very into FFA and agriculture. So this will be her book. And let's see what's going on here. Eek, that was actually the back. Okay, so. Let's put this one on here. Fortunately, these still fit too. I think I'm just gonna ink it at the end. Just get some paper down. I hope everybody's been having nice weather. It was sunny here the other day in Washington over the weekend, but now it's back to rain, which I guess is okay since we're talking about agriculture, the fields need water. So, you know, it all works out, I guess. Let's see. So when you get to these pages that I've folded in, you can see there's a little divot here where the file folder is. You can do a couple of things. You can make your paper a little bit bigger, which is what I'm doing now. And you can trim it out if you want after you glue this on. 
Um, I don't really want to. I'm going to put paper on the back that hopefully just lines up, makes it look like it's the same shape. You can always do a decorative edge on here. You can just leave it like a file folder. You can cover it with ribbon. Um, whatever works best for you or for your project, I guess. Uh, just be um, mindful when you're gluing that side. Add some glue to it a little later once it's got something else to stick to. So occasionally that makes these just a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Um, like I said, this inside one, we'll just glue right to it and that'll be fine. Um, you do wanna make sure you know where your creases are um, so that you don't put paper over the fold. That'll make it difficult to fold up. Get some more glue down here. So you can lay this flat and work on it. On some of these that have the, the creases here, I, I like to start the glue, uh, putting it down this way so I can see that it's still gonna fold and then I'll make it be flat. If you have any excess edges that you don't like afterwards, you can trim it, you can ink on it, you can do whatever you uh, feel your project needs. Okay. A couple more pages to glue here. Kind of the boring part, but it really is uh, where it comes together. You can make these pockets too. Um, I was just thinking I, I should have cut a little circle notch up here and I could have made it a pocket. Um, be kind of fun. Uh, you can you can add more flips and flaps. Sometimes I don't. I leave the edges a little loose in case if I want to add a flap. And I'm gonna add a couple of flaps, so I'll show you that here soon. This one, I'll probably just trim off. I don't know how I got, somehow I got my, my pages off just a little bit. Okay, let's glue this one down. So I didn't have any of these papers anywhere else in the book for this, uh, this graduation book, but I do use the color blue for hers um, a lot because her school colors are blue and gold. So, and I also used these uh, die, die cut letters elsewhere in the book. So just trying to keep some continuity there. So this one, I'm gonna go ahead and cut um, because I don't wanna glue anything onto the back and have it be the wrong size. Um, you could also, if it was longer, you could fold it over so the back page would have a little bit on the front, um, but I don't really want it that way for this, this one. At least not this time. Okay. And then a couple more pages to glue, and then we can start decorating. That's what I love about these. It comes together super quick. Um, it uses up some little scraps. These little pieces are for some decorations. And then the nice thing about using this glue is that I can lift the page up uh, in order to put in some little flaps if I want to. So again, while I'm gluing here, just making sure I am being mindful of these creases so that the book will still fold like so. Pressing everything down, making sure it gets all good and glued. And then this one, I'm gonna have to trim a little bit, but that's okay. We'll just put glue on the file folder itself. And then I find the easiest way to trim these so that they are um, nice and lined up is to just glue it first and then trim this excess off. Okay, so let's go ahead and trim. If 
if your glue is still drying, you wanna make sure your paper isn't moving while you're trying to cut, then you'll have it all wonky. Not to fear though, if that happens, everything with paper is fixable. You can layer over it, you can cut it, you can, it is so fixable. You can add embellishments. Okay, so here's our basic book. And like that was super quick. So one slice across the file folder, add some papers, and we've got a little working project. So this would be really fun for like a, a little baby announcement or birthday or a Mother's Day card or whatever, Father's Day card, whatever you have going on, um, or to fit in as a little center piece for the the book I have going already um, so I have some cute little things I wanted to do in this book and this one I think um, I was gonna have to move it down just a little bit for this ribbon to fit here uh, my idea for this is it'll be a little photo book so um, here let me fix this there we go um, so uh, they can put photos in here of their high school, whatever theme it is. So for the other one, it'll be prom. For this one, it'll be all of her FFA activities. Hopefully she gets to still have some. We haven't found out yet if there's gonna be fair or not, but uh, we are hoping so. Okay. So glue here. And don't forget, if you've got letters cut out or whatever, to glue the little center parts. And this one I was gonna have to move down, so we'll put it to right about there. And then I'm gonna cut this bottom off. And then I fussy cut this out of the Echo Park paper pack. It was just one of the little cutout pieces. So it's got some white edges around. I'm not the greatest fussy cutter. So I'll just put some ink and it will hide all of that. And you could make this a little paper clip that could clip on here. That would be really cute. I'm just gonna glue it already got a lot of other things going on in this book so we'll just give it some glue call it good oops do some ink here I've got my new glue gun warming up I'm so excited I'm still liking it. It does use a lot more glue than my other one, um, but I think maybe it's because it releases more when you pull, so it could just be I'm a little more trigger happy with it. I don't know yet. Okay, hit those little spots in the letters. There we go. Now the FFA uniforms are a dark, dark blue and gold. So we will bring in this glue gun and I absolutely love it. it, has the light. I don't know why that's so exciting, but it really is guys. <laughs> Let's put a little bit of glue here so I can put this gold rickrack down and then we'll just put a bead of glue, follow it down. I have a really hard time leaving edges like this paper edge without putting something down, um, some sort of trim or ink or both. <laughs> so this one's getting rickrack and the other side will get that too. I should have did it before I put that ribbon on there. Maybe I can peel it off. Ah, I can. Okay. 
and fear not that little rip will be covered. I think I cut it for the whole thing I did. So we'll put this up here. stick or hot glue gun with my awesome light that makes it so I can sort of see what I'm doing okay and then I'm gonna put a little bit of some hot glue here and up here just to make sure it will stay good and sticky even after pulling it apart okay Then you can just trim this off. So I'm going to go ahead and ink everything and then I'll be back and show you how um, I'm going to put in the little tip in. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Everything is inked, and I've got a couple of cool things I wanted to show you. Um, so I've got a few little details to put on here. I did want to mention when you're inking, make sure if you are an inker, that is, make sure you fold your creases every which way. So I usually start on one side, and then I'll ink, and I'll fold, and I'll ink, and I'll fold, and I'll ink. And then I do it the other way, and I fold, and I ink. So that way you get all of the inks in all of those creases. Um, unless if you don't care about inking, then that's totally fine too. So a couple things here. It looks like I ruined my page, but I did not. Um, I told you guys I was going to make a little flip flap. And the easiest way to do that, I just have this little piece of scrap paper from when I was cutting this paper. Um, so I just kind of work off of what's on my desk here. And um, I wanted to put this little phrase. Where did it go? Uh, I moved everything. Let's see. Where is it at? Um... Oh boy. Well, I guess this would be one advantage of having a clean desk. Maybe it dropped on the floor. Oh no. Okay, well, what did I do with that? Well, I will come back to that. Let me show you the other pieces I wanted to do here since they are right here. So this Echo Park paper that I've been using has really cute everything for farm. So I was just going to decorate this here with a little trim. And um, this was just a piece on one of the cutout pages. So the little chicken strips here. And unfortunately, this little red hen, I had to cut her head off. Didn't feel right about that, but sorry, little red hen. Okay, so here goes this. And then um, I just wanted to make a little tuck spot. Ah, and there's my other piece. All right, look at that. We'll, we'll do that next. Um, so a little tuck spot right here. I'm just gonna glue down in a backwards L and then uh, any little pictures or mementos or whatever can be put in there. Maybe some placings if we get to do fair, some fun FFA notes or whatever she wants to put in there. Okay, while that's drying, this side up here, um, so I've got that little scrap piece of paper. I did ink on the inside, and this again was one of the cutouts. Let me show you guys this cute paper so you'll know which one it is, uh, Echo Park paper. So they have all kinds of cute little cutouts and, and fun stuff. So that's, that's where all of this cute paper is coming from. So I just made this little scrap to fit my little tag. I got some glue on it there. And so this little cutout was one of the pieces. It did have some green gingham around and I didn't really want that, so I cut it out. And then now I'm just going to glue this here. And I love that it says, home is where your herd is. That's so cute, especially if you have cows. And we do, my daughter kind of has an addiction to cows at the moment, but that's okay. Okay, so when we bend this with a hinge, it can pretty much flip up anywhere it wants to. We can put it anywhere. Grab a, a wipe here and wipe this down because I've got glue everywhere. 
Okay. Um, I lifted up this piece of paper and I'm just gonna stick the little piece in here flush with the file folder and put that paper back down. And then we'll glue it all in. So we'll put some more glue in here. Now this is one great way to make some little flips because um, everything's hidden with your, your decorative paper. And you can add them like anywhere. You can add little envelopes like off the sides. You can add pieces of paper like this. You can use tags like little flips like I've done in the previous uh, videos here. But this is just with scraps and it just adds such a cute element. So then when she's got her paper, her picture on here, probably a picture of her with one of her cows, her show cows, um, you know, this will just be on the top of it. She could flip it up and write whatever fair it was or whatever cow it was. Um, and just a little tiny note there. Okay, so we'll let that one dry. And then one other cool thing I wanted to show too is um, I had, when I cut one of these pieces of paper, it's double-sided paper, so what's on the back is a different pattern. I had just a square of this left. So um, it was double-sided, so I put this other neutral piece of paper that was from my desk here, using scraps, guys, um, and so that I could have a writing spot. But I also wanted a tuck spot on this page too. So all you do is your biggest piece, your biggest side of the scrap, cut it square. So if this is three, then you want this way to be three and it'll be square. Then you just fold it in half like this. I glued two pieces together so that I could have the writing space on the inside. Then I inked all around here and added an eyelet just for flare. And I'm gonna glue it in the corner here but not gluing this front side so that we can still have a tuck, but then it'll also be able to flip up and have a little secret journal spot. So we're gonna go ahead, I put my fingers where I don't wanna glue, just for my own self to remember. And I don't wanna glue through the eyelet there. And we'll put it in the corner. Since I put that eyelet there, I could put a little charm if I wanted to too, that would be fun. Get that excess glue off. And just while it's drying, I might put some clips on there. So I want it to be good and dry, but it will ultimately be a cute little journal spot. And then when I cut out one of the other ones, little cutouts from that collection, see, and it's, it's double-sided there, but I thought that would be fun to stick in there. Um, some other things that would be really easy to do and just continue on with these books. Uh, this was just a little piece of paper I have here. And um, I don't know what kit this was from, but it says open. It's like embossed. It says open. I don't know if you can see that or not. but And then it just has lined paper. But you could stick something like this uh, here. And instead of using it like this, you could put this before you glued that back page. You could glue it down and then this would flip down. Uh, let's see, it would flip down like this. Um, you could use little photo frames like this. If you're gonna do the photo frame route, just make sure you leave a little piece at the top. Sometimes I don't even glue the top. That way a photo can actually slide in there. Um, you can decorate these photo frames and put them on there. That would be really cute. You can make little flips at the top. Uh, what I was talking about with the tags was like the flip on this one. This is just two tags. So a tag at the top folded in half and a tag at the bottom folded in half. You could definitely do that here and would carry out um, more of the, the same for continuity in your little album. Um, I'm not sure yet what else I'm gonna do to this, but I definitely like uh, having this little this little guy here. You could even put a little magnet there so that it would stay down and hold the photo as well. So, um, so then these flip together like this, and when we don't have the clip there, actually we'll just take it out uh, and get that glue. You can put trim on here too if you want, like I did on the other one. Where did it go? The other one I used some little lace and some little, um, some little trims. So like this one has some little lace here and then on the inside it has some little pom-pom trim right there. And then it just fits right back into your book. So um, this is really cute. 
I do have the rickrack here. We could keep going with some more rickrack there or leave it. Could even use a decorative edge scissor or die cut, punch, whatever. Uh, and then it just, this will get tied into the center of that book. I'm going to put egg life on there. So um, just a real quick video for you guys today. These are super fun little flip books that you could do. Um, I was also thinking it's about the perfect size for a CD envelope. Let's see if I have one handy. Um, you could easily put those in there. I do have one here. Let's see if that I, it's about the right size. Oh, these are weird. These are CD. Oh, look, I didn't even know I had this. These are cool. This is like a CD holder, but it's like a file folder. Cool. Um, a little bit too big, but maybe, maybe on there. And since it's just a file folder, you could cut it to fit and that would work. But you could also make those the flips. Um, you could use little envelopes, like I said. And um, if you plan it out a little uh, differently at the beginning, like if you know you wanna put some envelopes and whatnot, um, you can figure out where they're gonna go before you put your paper down. And then your paper will just cover up those little flaps. Um, so like say we wanted to put a coin envelope, you would just glue this under there and then you'd have a little flip up or you could have a little flip out. This would be cool in the prom one that would flip out. Maybe their ticket would fit in there. Maybe not, I don't know. Some of the tickets are kind of big, but um, still a fun idea. You could put some little mementos or notes or um, even just a place to, to journal. So, all right, you guys, I am going to go for now, but I will be back with some more videos and some updates on these journals as I'm trying to get them done in time for graduation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and um, like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell because I will be back again with more videos. Hope you guys have a great rest of the week and I will see you in the next one.